What is up teachers on fire? Today I want to show you a classic photo editing technique and that is replacing faces. Taking one person's face, putting it on another and I know that once you get the hang of this, you're going to love it and you're going to enjoy teaching it to your students. Watch the creativity and humor that follows when you do that. Our first step is at Pixlr.com. Now I think of Pixlr.com as the web's very best free cloud-based photo editing service available. If you know a better one, let me know. We're going to select the photo editor in the middle, the advanced one, and note that students don't need to log into this service in order to use it. Now we need two photos and they need to be high resolution. The first one is going to be a background. The second one is going to be a foreground, the face that we use to replace the first face. So to get started, I'm going to find a picture of Joe Biden, President of the United States. Now notice over here on tools, it's very important that you select tools and then select the size as large, large. And the reason we do that is because we want the photo to be high resolution. If you don't set, if you don't make that adjustment, chances are you're going to get a photo with poor resolution and it's going to look very bad as we play with it, as we do some editing with it. So it's gotta be high resolution. I'm going with this photo. And then as far as a foreground, an image, a face to replace Joe, we're going to put Ryan Reynolds in the mix. We're going to get him involved as well. Now this particular photo, the lighting is a little bit different. The angle isn't quite right and that's okay. I'm going to try playing with that a little bit and we'll see how this goes. But uh, here we go back to Pixlr and our job is now to load or to open the image that we want as the background first. So I'm going to find that picture of President of the United States, Joe Biden, and we're going to make that the background. We can start by hitting open image. All right, so I found the image of President Joe Biden and I'm going to hit open and here we go. Now notice on Pixlr.com there is a side of the screen that is going to show you some ads. That's an unfortunate reality, I guess, of having a freemium account. So these ads are blocked by my ad blocker in Google Chrome. Hopefully that is the same for your students as well, but just a note on ads. Okay, so we've got our background. We've got our high resolution image of the President of the United States. And our next job is to go up here to layer, layer, and we're going to add image as layer. And we're going to bring in that picture of Ryan Reynolds. Okay, so I found the picture of Ryan. We're going to hit open and boom. Now we have two layers. So let's get to work. We've got some challenges in front of us, but that's okay, I'm here with you. So over on the far left side, you wanna make sure that the arrow tool is selected because we're gonna be dragging this image. Notice over here on the layers side, we wanna make sure that we are selecting the Ryan Reynolds layer. In fact, while I'm at it, I think for this tutorial, it's gonna be helpful if we rename this layer. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to select Ryan Reynolds, or rather I'm going to type that in Ryan Reynolds and zoom out just a little bit. And I think I am good. Yes. So I've got Ryan Reynolds and I've got my background. Of course, the background is the president of the United States, Joe Biden. Okay. So back to the work I was doing, I want to drag the photo and resize from the corner. What I wanna do here is make sure Ryan's face is roughly the same size as Joe's. So you'll notice the Ryan Reynolds photo right now is way, way bigger, way, way larger than Joe's. And that's okay, that's all right, but we gotta do a little bit of resizing just to make this manageable. Okay, and then my next step is to cut out Ryan's face. Sorry, Ryan, but we're going to, for this job, we're going to select the lasso tool over here. We've got a few options. You've got the free lasso, the polygon, that's going to allow you to click, 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 and sort of connect all the, the points. Bezier, I'm not sure how to say that, and magnetic is sort of going to look, it's going to use AI to look for the line that you're trying to trace. I'm going to try the free. Now free is, is sometimes intimidating because if you've ever tried this, you know that if you make one mistake or lift your finger from the mouse or the trackpad, then you have to start all over again. So that's a little bit scary, but let's try the free. And then if free doesn't work, we will move to the, uh, to the polygon, I think. So I'm using the sliders to make sure that Ryan's face and head is not broken in any way, not obstructed. And I think I'm ready to cut him out. So here we go. You can start by selecting anywhere around his head. 
and I might fast forward this part in the post-production here, but what I want to do is just cut around his head, cut around his hair. It's okay if we don't do this job perfectly. We can do some touch-ups later. Get around his eye there. Yeah, there's going to be lots of touching up. Sorry, folks. Sorry about that. And we go around the back of his head, around his ear, hair. There we go. So once I've sort of completed the loop, you can see the lines start to flash and we're going to hit the cut button, which is control X. So let's hit control X or command X on a Mac. And you can see right away, there's a hole in the Ryan Reynolds photo. We can see Joe's head behind it and that's okay. We're going to turn the lights out on the Ryan Reynolds photo for now. We're going to make it invisible. And this way we can zoom out on the Joe Biden photo a little bit and really focus our energies there. Okay, so we've got the Ryan Reynolds photo cut out and we hit Control X to cut it and we turn that layer off and now I'm going to hit Control B. And there's Ryan's face. Now a couple of problems right away. It's yellow around it and we can see it's oriented incorrectly, it's sort of looking the wrong way. So we're going to flip it horizontally now we're getting somewhere now we're getting somewhere okay I, I think this is going to work now i want to get rid of this ugly yellow here so let's zoom in i hope you can see what i'm talking about there's some yellow that is showing up from the original photograph so it's really very simple we're going to use the eraser tool and we're going to do some erasing now because of the way that these layers are arranged Whatever I erase from the Ryan Reynolds layer is going to reveal the Joe Biden layer behind it. Now in this particular photo, I actually have an advantage and that is that the background behind Joe's head here is black, which means as a flat color, it's going to be easy to hide things. And maybe that's something that you want to look for. Oh, so notice if I do this, <laughs> If I erase that much of Ryan's hair, it's going to show the white hair of Joe behind it. That That's not the end of the world. You know, Ryan's getting up there in years. I don't know how old he is, but I would imagine somewhere around 40, mid 40s. He's starting to get a little grizzled in the beard, isn't he? So that's not unrealistic to think that he's got a little gray hair to contend with. Now over here, I don't know if you can tell, but this is not good. I'm gonna have to zoom in just a little bit more. Now I'm dragging this out and not fast forwarding this part because you'll have similar editing work to do for whatever images you choose. So I can see some gray here that's getting in between Ryan's face and the flag. And that is, that is just due to my bad cut on the Ryan Reynolds photo. So I'm, I am make, oh, I am making some progress there. And if you're wondering, if you're wondering how I am undoing so quickly, I'm just using Control Z, which is a tool that you probably use anywhere in the Google workspace, for example. Same idea, just a quick Control Z. I'm touching up his beard. And again, I just want to get rid of that gray from the Ryan Reynolds photo. And the nice thing is, as I said, whatever I erase here is just going to reveal the... Ooh, a lot of his beard but I think I got away with it okay and whoops he's got a bit of a problem here with a bit of a problem here with the, the next situation so let's see what we can do there make that look a little bit natural chunk out of his ear there let's zoom out and see what we've got I think we've got something pretty good actually pretty good okay now that I now that I see his hair I'm not entirely happy with that but let's zo keep zooming out that's not bad now if I want to play with the size of Ryan's head here at all um, I can use the arrow tool over here on the left and do 
do some easy resizing. That's that's not my chief concern right now, but but it might help. Now, let's say, just to show you a little bit about layers here, let's say that I do wanna get rid of that little bit of white hair. That white hair is from Joe, not from Ryan. Ooh, seeing a couple of other small problems here too. Yeah. Okay. All right. So in that case, I'm just gonna be really careful about selecting, uh, selecting the right layer here. And there we go. Just using the marker tool to sort of get rid of that a little bit. And I think we are in good shape. So let's see what we've got. It's not perfect, folks. It is not perfect. It looks strangely comical. Um, it's hard to think it's hard to take Ryan Reynolds seriously as president, but we can imagine we can imagine that Ryan Reynolds has taken the presidency after this term is over. And I'm not expressing any kind of partisan expression or, or wish or sentiments here, but we're just having fun with photo editing. Now, before we close and you go away, let's make sure that we save this image, save our work. And we do that by hitting file and save and i usually tell students to select png and turn off transparency uh, very important because we want these layers to merge together and you can save as give it a name that is going to stick with you so ryan biden is uh is the name that i will choose for the file and because again we're using a freemium edition you'll see a few ads show up but once you've saved that to your drive you can access that file in canva or adobe express or google docs or anywhere else that you work and uh, you'll be able to use that image and put it to work for you in whatever learning activity or project you've applied yourself to hey Thank you so much teachers for joining me for this tutorial and coming along for the ride has been a lot of fun. And I hope if this was helpful for you, you'll give me a like, maybe comment on the video, tell me what you're working on and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you here next time. Thank you so much.